This is Damascus steel. Not only is Damascus steel beautiful, it also has some qualities that make it different from other steels. Now the way that Damascus steel is made is by layering two different types of steel on top of each other and then hammering it to smush it together and bond them into one piece of steel. And so the first thing that we need to do is to prepare the belly. Looks like I'm getting a layer separation right there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clean that out. I'm gonna try and weld that again. I was a little worried something like that might happen because the back of it never got quite as hot as the front. And, but what I did was I cleaned that out. I put some more borax in. So we'll see, maybe we can get that to, to fuse together. If not, we're just gonna have to waste some metal and cut that off. Otherwise, you'll have this seam of unfused metal running through the entire blade.
Since it's fall, my oil is really cold, and what that can mean is that it will cool the blade too quick and the blade could crack when I quench it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some pieces of steel that I have heating up in the forge and quench them first so that it preheats the oil and doesn't make it as harsh on the blade. going to do is we're going to etch the blade. Um, while you can kind of see the layers, you can't see them particularly well. And so acid etching will go and dissolve the steel just a little bit so that you can start to see those layers a little more. Each type of steel will dissolve at a different rate, giving you some very clear layering. And to do that, we're going to be using this, which is muriatic acid. It's about 31.45% is what it says on the bottle. Everything I see about this says it's kind of dangerous. So this is not something to mess around with. Now, unfortunately, the acid etch really didn't seem to do much. I don't know if I didn't leave it in long enough or if I, I'm not using the right kind of acid. The I left it in for yeah, three minutes or so. Um, it, uh, there's, there's just not much, not much color change there. So if you have any ideas on how or what I did wrong or how to make this better in the future, uh, please leave them in the comments section. I can't wait to read through them. So this is definitely far from being refined and finished, um, but it's a good proof of concept. And so I want to try and make some more Damascus in the future and expand upon this, making it much better. And uh, if you have any comments on how to do that better, just let me know. I'd love to hear them. Until next time, thank you very much.